it is a great pleasure i want to welcome uh, dr manak ghosh uh manak is ranked 20 in neat as a surgical group and uh, we just finished interviewing his friend who got ranked too and i must tell you that you know i am very proud of that entire room i i i i'm so eager to discover what is there in that room where you know both these guys study <laughs> rank 2 and rank 20 uh, oh, it, it, it's it's absolutely you know <laughs> marvelous overall so congratulations man how do you feel thank you sir sir actually i am uh, speechless right now sir i i have not expected a rank 20 right now but i i was thinking of maybe it will be between uh, 300 within 300 uh, as per the at the as the exam was not that easy but paper and we are not confident about the answers and questions and that's why i was not expecting a uh, rank b- within 50 but i was expecting within 30, 300 maybe i think it's it, incredible it's overall incredible so man tell us a little bit uh, about yourself where are you from where did you do your undergraduate post graduate sir actually uh, i have uh, done my ug from uh, medical college calcutta sir and oh, then uh, i have done ms from sabdang uh, hospital sir and uh, i am uh, currently uh, just passed my third year sir uh, and uh, you're all you're from west bengal i'm from west bengal sir great 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 uh, just for information medical college calcutta along with madras medical college is one of the old is the oldest medical college in uh, india and you know it's is remarkable i think the entire pedigree uh, is excellent like is from a top medical college in west bengal and from and done surgery from one of the best medical colleges in india uh, so uh, again you were also telling me that you know you were interested in oncology so yes. what what motivated you to think about oncology sir actually uh, in my ug days i have seen uh, mainly of oncological cases done i, I my mentor was professor chintamani sir and uh, yes. uh, he was doing mainly uh, gi onco head and neck breast and endocrine surgery sir so i am more interested in that that's why sir i am planning for surgical oncology sir great 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 so uh, just like how your roommate was telling us that you know uh uh you started your preparation uh, early on in third year so did you also start your preparation in your third year or was it much earlier before that sir actually in subjecting first year was very much hectic sir and we were uh, in the covid times we are not getting our juniors also so basically it okay. was like one and a half years of first year in that period we are not able to read books sir but we have you are that attended- infamous 2020 batch who suffered the maximum during covid yeah but we have sir attended the clinical case presentations and all that were done in our college and by our mentor sir but that was i i think that was helpful in that period in that entire first year and second year we were exposed to too many clinical cases that were uh, at the eight, uh, end end of second year when we started uh, we start reading the books we can correlate some patients what we have gained the experience in first year and second year but uh, different types of patient we have seen and uh, in somehow the uh, the same patients informations are written in the books sir. so i have started basically mainly pre- preparing for the exam for last 6 or 7 months only sir but uh, and i was making some notes from sir books and from bailey and sebastian sir mainly uh, but uh, half of the half of the notes were uh, I, i i was able to make and written but in the rest of the notes i have, I have get, uh, got some notes from my seniors and i am preparing from that notes set and i uh, i am a uh, such test subscriber from said uh, last one and a half years oh i have also sub- i have also subscribed 6 uh, months of initial video package set but i was not able to see the videos but i was doing the mcqs and it was uh, giving me uh, some uh, insight about the uh, pr- topics that we are reading in textbook set but reading the textbook was not sufficient for complete uh, doing the mcq parts here sir but uh, in the mcq bank we have seen that the knowledge that we have read in the book it was no, we are not able to retain the knowledge but when have, we have done the mcqs we are able to retain the knowledge in a different way i have done the mcq banks uh, twice initially during starting my uh, reading sir uh, with each chapter i, have, I was doing that uh, chapter wise mcqs and when i was revising it was very much boring to revise all the topics again so i have started doing mcqs then went back to my notes and corrected my notes and added to my notes and this was helpful sir very much helpful incredible i think uh, the insight which you get from uh, manak is that correlation of what you see in the words and the ot and correlating them with your books is is very important to uh reinforce your memory and the 
process of doing mcqs reinforces and makes you remember what you already learned from the book so i think uh some of the things which the top of the telling is anti grade learning where you kind of read the textbook first and then solve mcqs and then build on that knowledge and always make notes of what you read in the textbook now this is incredibly essential uh for successful preparation i think uh, i think manak has given a wonderful insight into his preparation i think uh, that's brilliant so manak i have just uh, i won't take too much of your time i know you are going on a, a, on a spree of visiting all the institutes before you take it and i think that's that's the right way of doing it but what advice would you want to give students uh, uh sir for first years mainly i will ask them to uh, complete their clinical works in the ward that will be very much helpful in next two years sir if those patients that we see day and night the ot's that we see that will be very much helpful when we are reading the books we can memorize the patient and uh, we can uh, uh, memorize the patient and the uh, memory stays longer for whenever we read the same things from a patient and in say, uh, basically uh, and for cracking the your final exam in third year and along with that uh, to crack neat essays along with that it will be m- minimum of matlab uh, maximum 6 to 8 months of for, uh, proper preparation will be helpful and the general part from belly and the gi part from sebastian and breast and endocrine part from suvarth and super specialty from belly or sebastian whatever you want and doing mcq is very much important start matlab if they can start uh, doing mcqs as early as possible as i have i was saying sir it will be more beneficial if we are doing MCQs. i think i think i think, I think this, is a, this, is a, this is a wonderful insight again i think uh, this is something which all the toppers have been repeating uh, do everything from bailey gi from sabiston and uh, endocrine surgery breast thyroid parathyroid and adrenals from uh, schwartz i think this is the formula uh, for a successful aspirant uh, so uh, manak uh, what do you want to do actually in life sir uh, where do you see yourself a few years sir, down the line uh, sir uh, in surgical oncology i will be, be focusing on some specialty like either breast and endocrine or sir gi onco i am not sure about that sir right now sir in- interesting interesting hey, so manak i think i think it's been wonderful talking to you uh, uh you, sorry for holding you up i know you have a, a, a bus to catch right now good luck best wishes from the entire sirs team lots of love take care we like you, you sir thank you sir